Thank you for joining. My name is John Verai, and I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Launch by Adobe. In this demo, I'm going to share and show how easy it is to learn Launch and to gain value from Launch pretty quickly. And to do that, I'm going to walk us through a simple use case, which is to deploy two marketing pixels and to send a certain piece of information to both of those vendors. To begin, I'll click on Extensions and then select Catalog. This is where we hold all of the integrations or extensions that have been built by Adobe and by our partners. I'll begin by clicking on Bing Ads extension, and I'll simply input the UET tag ID here and select Save. Let's say we also want to fire a double-click pixel. I'll scroll down and find double-click and select Install, and there's no configuration necessary for that extension. And now let's say there's a certain piece of information that we want to send to both of those vendors. To do that, I'll select Create New Data Element here. I'll name the data element. Let's say it is a Product Category Data Element. And for the sake of demoing best practices, let's say you have a data layer deployed, and it's via JSON object. We'll simply put the path to that variable here, and all the path is is simply an address to that piece of information on the page. I'll then click Save, and then we'll move to the heart of Launch, which are rules. At its most fundamental level, Launch is a highly intelligent and sophisticated if-then statement creator. If certain events happen under certain conditions, then take certain actions. Now, if you're using another tag management system, most of them will flip the logic and they'll ask the question of, what tag do you want to fire in which situations? Launch takes a different approach. We help you to focus on the customer experience and we ask you to ask yourselves, what customer behaviors are you most interested in understanding and most interested in taking actions upon? And so we'll begin this logic, this if-then statement, by the if, and specifically focusing on the behavior that we're interested in. Let's say we want to understand just when the page loads because we want these pixels to fire in, in every instance where launch is deployed. We'll scroll down and select DOM ready, and then select keep changes. Now let's say we just want to fire these two marketing pixels whenever the DOM is ready. We'll click on actions, and you'll notice that both Bing and DoubleClick have added new functionality to launch. Let's deploy Bing first. We'll select custom event. And remember that data element, that product category that we captured earlier? Launch makes it very simple to take that information that launch is listening for and to send that to any endpoint. In this case, Bing. I'll go ahead and select keep changes. And let's say we also want to send that same information to DoubleClick. Once again, DoubleClick has added new functionality to launch in the form of, of new action types. I'll select Floodlight Sales tag here. And just like we sent that product category information to Bing, we can also send that to DoubleClick. I'll simply click Select and Keep Changes. Now just to recap what I've done in three and a half minutes, we deployed two extensions, both Bing and the DoubleClick Pixel. We created a new data element that's capturing product category, and we created a rule that says on DOM ready, activate these two marketing pixels, Bing and DoubleClick, and also send the product category data element to both of those vendors. I'll click Save, and at this point, you probably want to get this in your publishing environment or on your production page. To do that, you simply click on Publishing and Add New Library. I'll name it here, and you'll notice at the bottom that there's this, this button that says Add All Change Resources. When I click this, it'll take all of the net new things that we've added and show them here, and we can select which ones we want to include or exclude. You'll notice that a library consists of rules, data elements, and extensions. We could click into these and see the details if you wanted to. For the sake of this demo, I'm going to go ahead and move forward. So I will select the proper environment and then click Save and Build for Development. Now that that build is complete, we will go ahead and promote this library to the next stage of the approval process. I'll select Submit for Approval and then click Submit. Then once again, we'll come here and we will go ahead and build for staging.
Now that that build is complete, let's say we've reviewed this and it looks safe and secure and stable, we'll go ahead and select Approve for Publishing. We will verify that, yes, we do approve this library. And then from here, we will go ahead and build and publish to production. We'll let launch do its magic. And now that the library is finished and published to production, in less than six minutes, we installed two extensions, both Microsoft Bing and Google's Floodlight Pixel. We created a new data element that's listening for the product category variable. And then we created a rule that on DOM ready, that both the Bing and Floodlight Pixels will fire and send this data element. We pushed it through our publishing workflow, and now it's live on our site. I hope this demo was able to illustrate how straightforward it is to learn and to gain value from launch quickly. Thanks.